So, this is part 2 now, and in this part I want to make this model look good. Um, for this, I noticed here, I messed up a little, it's not, uh, the arm isn't really looking good, so I more, want this more like a circle, so I will modify this thing a bit. Uh, I will go to edit mode again, and make sure you have this selected. So everything you move here also happens here. Uh, or no, it's also it's already a mirror, so it doesn't really matter. So uh, what I'm going to do is um, make the overall shape a bit better, a bit more roundish, like this. Uh, if I look from the down from below, this looks way better. And now what we're going to do is to select all of these. Not all the way to the top and also move them and make the shape a bit better like this. <coughs> like this, yeah that's good. And then for this one as well, select all of them, press G and then G again. And then take them over, G and G. And then make this a smooth line like this. And take this here, take this out like this, this is good, this is great, and maybe take this a bit more to the inside, like this, yeah, this, I uh, like this, <coughs> that's good, and now uh, here, this edge is a bit too sharp for me, so I'm going to select this, uh, then pull them inside a bit, like this, uh, maybe this one even more, push them in, just how you feel it will look good. Maybe then a bit more. No, not this one. No. Those two. Great. This is now way better for me. It just improves the overall shape if we look at this. Great. Now what we're going to do is uh, save this, of course, and then we need to um, see this point. We need to go to object, then go to uh, set origin and then origin to where is it origin to geometry so it's centered uh, right now we still have the mirror modifier on so this technically isn't real this part uh, we will do this again to get it centered all the way uh, but now what I want to do is to uh, go C press C and then go to wireframe mode and then select all of these and now we can see they aren't really that good right now. Maybe improve this. So it's a straighter line like this. This is good. And now press E. And then pull these down and make them a lot longer like this. You will see why we're doing this later. Um, just trust me on this one. It will look... It's it's necessary to do. Uh, maybe put the, uh, pull them to the front a bit. So it's... Uh, doesn't break the shape too much. Great. And this is pretty good. <coughs> I noticed here they can move a bit down maybe. Um, if we press uh, GG again, like this. So they, they better go inside of here maybe. This one as well. Bring this a bit down. So this, this isn't really that important, but I just like to do it. Uh, just go on, and then maybe this one a bit up, so it doesn't break the, the line like this. Yeah, that's good. <coughs> so let's leave it like this. And this is good. Then do the same for here. Pre hold C, go to wireframe mode, and then select all of these. Then, no, no, this, this we can leave. It will look better. Um, what we're going to do now is save again, and then we're going to add, uh, press control, tab, and go to sculpt mode. Uh, this is the sculpt mode, and here we can uh, better improve the, the, the overall look, uh, but if, uh, you can see now if we draw on here, something happens, but it doesn't look good. That's, why, that's because uh, the mesh, we don't have a, a good enough resolution. So what we're going to do is go to add modifier and then add the multi-resolution modifier. <coughs> what we're going to do now is to uh, press subdivide and subdivide. Of course, uh, first we need to apply, right, my bad. 
uh, first apply, go back to object mode, control tab, object mode, and then apply this modifier. So we can also edit this. Great. Uh, now, if we go back to sculpt mode, control tab, sculpt mode, uh, we have this mesh here. <coughs> And what we can do now is we uh, we have these different uh, different subdivisions, so we can scale it down and up. Uh, this is our workflow. So yeah, just for now what we can do now is uh, you can see this tool here. This is the pose tool. Uh, right now, if we do this, it sort of spins around the the mesh. That's not what we want. What we want is, is if we press N, we can go to Tool, and then what we can do is to go to uh, set this deformation tab, go to from geometry to cloth simulation. Uh, you, know, you will see what this will do, but first uh, let's change from rotate and square, rotate and twist to scorch and stretch. Uh, this will, uh, if we have it like this, if we scale up the brush, and now we uh, activate the mirror tool, so we have it in both. Ah, yeah, that's. Uh, let's go back to uh, object mode. Sorry, I forgot about this one. This point is centered here. Uh, what we need to do again is now to go to set origin and origin back to geometry. Now it's centered. If we go now back to sculpt mode, we can see uh, it's mirrored perfectly. <coughs> now what we're going to do is uh, you can see this brush scaled up a bit, so you have a big one, and then you can pull and you can see there's these wrinkles are getting generated um, uh, you can just pull maybe you need to try a few times until you get one you like it's pretty pretty difficult sometimes to get a shape you like uh, it's hard to handle this tool just so just try a few times I like this one with these stripes <coughs> and then in the back maybe push this up a bit so you get these wrinkles here and just don't do too much maybe pull this a bit more and get it a bit back yeah I like this one this is pretty cool I like this how it looks and that's yeah that's pretty cool for me this works maybe uh, back here push this a bit more maybe pull here so you have these wrinkles yeah that's that's pretty cool for me I like this one <coughs> then you can also do something up here if you like it's kinda, uh, I think I'll, I'll leave it like this uh, yeah that's good for me save it uh, maybe uh, here could some errors come up some errors could come up so uh, frequently save this this going to save your progress I'm pretty sure um, now what we're going to do is uh, subdivide this again. Now you can see it looks already pretty good. Uh, maybe in the back I can do maybe scale down the brush a little bit and then ah, like this. No, no, no. Like this maybe. And then press it more in. Yeah, this is good for me. So I have some wrinkles. Maybe ah, don't like this one. No. Maybe like this. Maybe up here. No, like this no. uh, you see it's pretty tricky to work with this brush I really like it in the front in the back it's not not perfect but yeah, it works so <coughs> I'll leave it what we're going to do now is um, we're going to go to this tool this draw face sets tool uh, what this tool will do uh, if you uh, you scale the brush a bit down nothing happens you need to press ctrl c now everything turns green and press ctrl shift c again now you can see it's blue uh, if you draw and another uh, if you draw different colors will pop up and what i will do is to draw uh, if you want if you draw a color and then you want the white press con ctrl click on the white and then bring this down this is how you can make how you can do this it's pretty pretty weird I don't know why it works like this but uh, what we want to do now is make this lower part here brown uh, blue <coughs> and so I will press control then bring this over and all the way around 
uh, what we're going to do now is to make this part <coughs> for this uh, then hold control on the white part again and make it like this what we're going to do now is to go to the move tool again and under advanced and the, where is it, face sets. With this brush, oh, this is the bug, uh, don't worry, just press control C. Uh, with this, we only modify the blue part. So if we pull here now pretty slowly, you can see only there it, change, it only changes there. So now we can maybe stretch this out a bit more, um, like this. Stretch this, just pull, pull, like this. Yeah, that's that's good for me. Maybe make this a bit longer, and pull this a bit to the back. <coughs> and you can of course scale up the brush, and yeah, that's, that's too much for me. Like this may push it up a bit. Yeah, that's good for me. Now uh, you can uh, go to the smooth tool or just pr hold shift, and then press down and uh, just click on random positions. What this will do, it will smooth out the mesh. So uh, I will do this like this, yeah. So we have down here, it's a bit smoother than up there. If we go back to the object mode and bring this up to a three, you can see it's smoother down here than at the top. And I don't really like how, it's, how, it, how it looks, so I'll undo it. I think I'll undo too much, maybe pull even a bit more and let's go back here bring this up again check how this looks and this looks pretty good for me you can see it's already getting shape and this is exactly what we want great <coughs> now from here on uh, let's go to the arms this is the end of the free part of the course. If you want to follow along and finish this, this tutorial, you can visit our website and go to the Academy tab. Under the Academy tab, you can buy the full course. If you want to see how we finish the project by finishing the model, adding realistic material and create professional studio lighting, you can just join the course and with the code YouTube25, you will get an extra 25% off of the complete course.